Late last year, I was able to observe an engine change on the Wolf Islander 3. So when MTO announced that they were going to be changing a thruster, I made a point of getting over to see it. All the necessary equipments made their way to Wolf Island aboard the vessel. This 50 ton sliding rotator from Pat Rogers Towing will prove to be the star turn. The first order of business is to set up a cradle to and from which the drive units can be lifted conveniently by the crane. The incoming unit can then be lifted from the flatbed into the cradle. It's a fairly ticklish task involving translating horizontal position to vertical. That's about seven and a half tons under the crane. At the risk of inflicting a bad pun on you, I would remark that there's a lot hanging on this for the operator. But confidence, skill and a measured approach are very evident here. With the new thruster cradled, the hatch can be opened to reveal the one that will be exchanged. The sliding feature of the crane comes in very handy. An opportunity is presented to clean the hatch edges. Then the delicate business of lifting out the thruster can begin. Clearances on lift are sufficient, but only just, and any damage must be avoided. Slow and steady wins the day with abundant caution and frequent expert checks. Success is never in doubt. With the outgoing unit loaded for transport, it's time for the new unit to be placed. No less care and attention is paid to this task. Oh, 
Although only the operator is at the controls, it's no less a team task to pull this off accurately and well. The most challenging moments come when the widest diameter is passing the hatch line. Of course, absolute accuracy is required when the base of the unit meets the hull to which it will be secured. If you found it interesting to get this insight into the work, then please let me know in the comments below. And when you next see somebody with MTO Marine Services, thank them for their hard work and dedication. Thanks for watching.